yo this is your boy big j for real thanks for watching big j today we are aiming to do another reaction from ghana directly from ghana and i hope you're gonna enjoy that so let's not take too much time if you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe like and share and also we are well happy to welcome you to join our j art family platform so let's not waste too much time let's go straight to west africa precisely Yo guys, today we are in to do a little reaction on one famous artist, a coffin artist, right from West Africa, precisely Ghana. This person is called Pajo. Pajo happens to be his nickname. Why would somebody decide to be a coffin artist? What is the motive behind it? If you know this, try to put your comments under the comment section. Tell me why do you think somebody would be a coffin artist? I don't know. That is why I'm asking you. So you just tell me what you think the reason why he is a coffin artist. Pajo is known as Joseph Ashon, aka Pajo. He's a Ghanaian who deals in coffin he makes coffin he was born in 1947 and he lives in accra in teshi when you go to teshi you found his shop big big a very big shop what makes him so special yes we have traditional coffin which everybody knows but this time this person doesn't make a traditional coffin he used his artistic mind artistic ideas and creativity to create wonderful coffin whereby people all over the world go to Ghana to search for him today we're going to look at five of his handicraft and after we finish you tell me would you like to have a coffin like that so let's go. The first one. Now let's look on the screen. You can see this is a traditional coffin. This is the coffin that we all know over the world. Everybody knows that this is how the coffin is supposed to look like. When you passed away, they put you in such coffin. But this time, in this modern world, People are going in for more creative coffin, and that is what we wanted to look at. The first one we're going to look at is the fish. Why would somebody go in for a fish coffin? And why would this man even think of molding a fish as a coffin? That I can't understand because I think it's about taste and preference. People feel they want to go more differently. Some people, like let's say for instance, a farmer, no sorry, a fisherman who passed away would be buried in a fish coffin just to represent the kind of job he was doing before he passed away. He can also be buried in a, a sheep or a boat coffin, which can also be designed by the same artist. So maybe that might be the reason why a fisherman would go in for such coffin. But remember, the person is already passed and dead and gone. The decision is made by the family. But this is the most nicest part of it. So this is the first one we're talking about. Now let's look at the second one. If you are a drunker, what coffin do you think would be selected for you if you are a drunker? 
so maybe you like drinking guinness or you like drinking beer or whatever the coffin this man can make for you is what the beer the bottle of a beer and it will just look like a coffin that's what he's going to put you inside this man is a genius trust me his handwork is look good everybody really loves his handwork so if you want to visit ghana try to make it a point to go to his shop and look at some of his handiwork with your naked eyes so the coffin for a bottle might go for somebody who likes drinking or somebody who works in a, in a, a drink factory or something like that okay good now let's go to the third one boom i love this one I love this third one. The coffin for a basketball player. So this coffin looks like the basketball. The basketball. Just ask yourself, how? Starting from the ground's work, he has to use the wood to mold the ball, the basketball. After that, he has to paint it and do the art on it how it's supposed to look like as soon as you look at it you know it's a basketball this is genius man and I, I can't even think about me as an artist i think this is beyond and this is this person is is an old person i mean it's old and he has been able to train young guys who have been doing this like young guys who are into coffin designing and it it has created a lot of job employment as well so the third one is the bay football and sorry basketball basketball coffin that is really beautiful okay now let's go to the fourth one the fourth one i want to talk about The fourth one I want to talk about, oh my God, I don't want to be in that coffin because I might say I love this. A coffin for sneaker collectors. <laughs> this is, look at, look, look, look at this. This is just a Gucci Air Force One. Oh my God, come on. For those who like Air Force One, trust me. If you're about to go in there, I mean, in the ground, call him. He will just, <laughs> he will just do this for you, man. And this look amazing. Look at the craft. Look at the, look at the handiwork. Look at, look at all the designs. Just real. And also, he can also do a Gucci bag. You can see, but it's a coffin. All these things are things that an artist is supposed to be creating. You know, this man creates from imagination. He looks at this object, he does it exactly. But the difference is, it's just a coffin. After that, we put it in the ground. Oh my God. So if you're a sneaker collector or you're a fashion designer or you are a model and you deal with clothing and shoes and bags, expensive bags, yes, your coffin can be made in this manner. Trust me. So let's look at the last one. Boom. The last one is, oh my God, how am I going to explain this? Anyway, I will leave that on the comment section. Tell me what you think about this and who do you think will go in for such coffin? The coffin that looks like a dick. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, look at the coffin. Sorry. You know, I don't want to talk much about this because this speaks a lot. Let's say you are a man and you don't fire. I mean, you don't fire. You don't produce. I mean, it's not strong. <laughs> so that is your coffin. When, when you pass away, they have to mold a strong one. I mean, a big coffin that looks like this just to put you inside to show that when you are alive, you were not being able to fire <laughs> who else do you think will go in for such coffin or which people which category of people will use 
a coffin that looks like this if you know or if you have any idea to share please drop it at the comment section and we will be happy to read your your message out please so try to like and subscribe and also contact us if you want us to do content with you if you have any ideas we can put you on our show we try to promote and digest african art and art around the world if you're an artist try to link up we can have a lot of things to do together so to see you again nice be strong and be safe see you in my next video one love Ooh.